My name's Ben, and today we've got this extremely nice 2022 Honor 22 registration, Mercedes E53 Coupe. So the 53 in the Coupe is the most powerful. They don't do an E63 in a Coupe. So this is the most powerful E-Class Coupe you can buy. And this is a Night Edition Premium Plus. So it's also the top of the range example, finished in selenite gray metallic with black leather interior, a full Mercedes-Benz main dealer service history, two owners from new, and 27,000 miles from new. We'll start at the front and we'll walk you around what the Night Edition Premium Plus includes. Uh, but the first and obvious point being a Night Edition is all of the blacked out parts. So the front grilles are dark chrome instead of standard silver chrome. The lower splitter down here is in gloss black and these sort of side uh, air intake sections all in gloss black as well, part of the Night package. And then there's already quite a few options on the front here to talk about. So the camera on top of the badge there, you will see is the forward facing camera for the 360 surround camera system that the car's got. The badge also doubles up as a radar for adaptive cruise control, obviously front park distance control in the bumper, and an LED headlamps with automatic high beam assist as well, a very powerful headlight unit there. Coming round the side, we've got the upgraded 20 inch alloy wheels, so the AMG wheels, uh, as you can see with a big AMG imprint on the side there, in matte black with the diamond cut around the very edge, so a really good looking wheel. These are the upgraded optional wheels on this car with silver calipers and the AMG logo behind there as well. Night pack continues on door mirrors, all gloss black window surrounds black to the top of the door handle. So again, that would be chrome on a non-night edition car. And then obviously you've got the big glass panoramic roof, which we'll show you from inside. Keyless entry and exit. And if you have a quick look in the door glass, you'll see the triangle in the bottom left for blind spot monitoring on the car. And that will flash orange if somebody is in your blind spot on a motorway. And if you have a look at the inside, which is absolutely beautiful, we've got the gloss carbon fiber trims all over the interior, which again, makes it feel like a proper AMG. And you can see the AMG in the center screens there, the double digital display, which is now touch screen in these later models. So the left hand screen there, you can control by touch. The AMG sport seats with perforated leather throughout. And then again, that big fully opening tilt and slide glass sunroof up there which is really useful. Illuminated AMG door seals and the AMG floor mats as well. There's some beautiful ambient lighting, which hopefully you'll see when we get around the driver's side. Privacy glass on the rear three quarters. Being an AMG, you've got this extended sort of spoiler lip across the top of the boot here, and then the iconic quad exhaust pipes. So finished as a night package in black around those exhaust pipes. And if I push the boot button, it's a power tailgate. So that'll open up and you've got a very deep boot and you can fold the middle row seats on these levers here. So you can create extra space if you do want to do so. And you've even got more space under the boot floor there. So very practical car. Our tailgate there as well, just push the button, it will come back down. The reverse camera is very nicely hidden in the Mercedes badge, so when you pop it into reverse, that will pop up and the camera will expose itself. And then coming in the driver's side, I'll jump in and we'll go through some of the interior options. So starting on the driver's door card, it's all beautifully smooth Nappa leather everywhere you look with contrast gray stitching. And then that gloss carbon fiber trim goes beautifully with those Burmester aluminum speaker grills in the doors. Again, part of it being a premium plus to have the Burmester sound system. All electrically adjustable drivers and passenger seat, both with memory settings, heated seats on the door card there, and then obviously electric windows, power folding mirrors, etc. I'll turn the car on and we'll go through what you can see on the inside. So straight six, three liter engine in the car, powered with hybrid motors. So it's over 440 horsepower. It's actually a very fast car if you want it to be. And we've got the updated Mercedes steering wheel, which is electrically adjustable and will save on those memory settings as well. And there's lots to talk about on the steering wheel. You can control virtually all of the infotainment from the steering wheel. So on the right hand side, you can control the driver's cockpit here, which is very customizable. I can flick up and down and change what I can see in the middle. So at the moment we're on the AMG settings and we can change all of that. But if I press the home button, you've got various different menus you can go into here. You can even change change it back to like a traditional Mercedes two dial display, uh, which it will do, so there you go. And then again, you can come to each of these circles and change what you can see in each of these circles. So it's very customizable. There's so much information you can see through those screens. Down beneath that, we've got the cruise control and the adaptive cruise control buttons down here as well. We've got a, a sort of almost Manatino-like style switch down here where you can switch between Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, and a slippery mode and an individual mode as well, which is really cool. And then the left-hand side button, so you've got multimedia down the bottom stalk and on the top section here, 
those control your centre infotainment. So again, you don't need to take your hands off the steering wheel. I can scroll across on here, go straight onto the navigation on there, uh, and then down the centre here. Again, this is very customisable. So at the moment, sports exhaust and start stop, you can flick those on and off. And it does make a big difference to sports exhaust, you may or may not hear in the video, but you can also touch these buttons and change what it does. So that will now change the gearbox to manual, your driving mode, your cameras, you can bring the cameras onto the screen, traction control and so on. And the same with the bottom one, you can customise exactly what you want on each of these dials, which is really clever. Huge aluminium shift paddles behind the steering wheel and obviously flat bottom to help with access into the car. Your usual sort of indicators and wipers and your automatic high beam will come on if you just push that away so it'll come on and off when traffic is near. If I pop it into reverse you'll see it on the centre screen the reverse camera and on the right hand side the 360 camera obviously driver's doors open at the moment so difficult to display that and you can see all of the beautiful customizable ambient lighting all around underneath the carbon fibre and around the air vents is very cool and it even goes down this centre console section here as well. Two cup holders and your USB port. There's also a wireless phone charger there, so if you put your phone in there, it will charge wirelessly. And then you've got, you've got more sort of shortcut buttons for sports exhaust, suspension, gearbox, drive mode, all down the center here, either side of this touchpad, which can also be used to control that center screen. Lots of storage under here with more USB-C ports. And I'll show you that roof open as well, so you can get an idea of what that looks like when it is fully open. There is actually lots of headroom in the back of this car. I've sat in the back of it myself and I'm six foot two tall and I can sit in the back with spare headroom. So it's surprisingly practical for four or five adults, sorry, four adults in the back, uh, two seats in the back, of course. And then I'll just turn it off, jump outside and summarize the car for you. So as I mentioned at the start, this is the top of the line for the E-Class Coupe model. So an E53, Night Edition Premium Plus, full Mercedes-Benz main dealer service history, two owners from new, 27,000 miles, and what a fabulous example. My name's Ben, I hope the video's helped. Thanks for watching.